Hello and welcome back and in this video we're going to look at one of the really cool features of the MT4 platform and that's the template feature. It's a great feature it allows you to create identical charts very quickly very easily and all to exactly the same format. So once you've created a template for a chart which will include your preferred candle patterns, colors, the indicators that are associated with it. Once you save that as a template, you can then replicate that chart over and over again using this really handy feature. So let's take a look and see how it works. Now I've got two charts here. One on the left where we've already done some work in creating the colors we want for our candlesticks and the other on the right is a default chart. And what we're going to do is on the left we're going to populate that with some indicators and then we're going to save that as a template and I'll show you how quick it is to replicate the layout on the chart on the right. So let's start by adding some indicators to the chart on the left and if we go to our navigator let's add some the quantum pivots so we'll pop that on there. Let's add the support and resistance. Let's also add the tick volumes. Just move that down a little bit. There we go. Let's change the time frame. Let's change this to uh, 15. There we go. And let's add the trend monitor as well. So we'll just pop that on there. There we go. And we'll just pull that down there. And move that down a little bit. And we'll add the uh, volatility, dynamic volatility. Let's just add that on as well. So there we go. And you might have some moving averages on here, whatever uh, other indicators that you're using. Let's just close the navigator down. And this is now our preferred chart layout with the colors and the indicators associated. And we want to save that as a template. How do we do that? Well, one of two ways. We can right click, scroll down to the template option. And in the pop up menu, it will say save template. Now you'll note at the bottom there, You've got two templates already created. One is called CSI and the other is called default. So when you save a template, it will automatically appear in the populated list below. So let's save this template. Let's give it a name. Let's call it demo one. There we are. We're going to save that. Okay. So we've now got our template saved as demo one. Now we move to the chart on the right hand side. Let's change that time frame. Let's make that an hour. How do we apply the template? Very simply, we right click, scroll down to template as before. And there you can see in the menu at the bottom that you've actually got the option of the template that we saved just now called demo one. We click demo one. And there we are. It's an identical chart with the identical indicators loaded. It's a fantastic way of populating charts very quickly. Let's pull up a bear chart. Let's go up to file, new chart. Let's pull up the Aussie dollar. Let's change that to uh, let's say five minutes. We want to load our template on there so it's exactly the same as the other charts. We can either do it there or we can just scroll down and select it from here. Demo 1. There we are. And if we click on the other great little feature on MT4 which is tile windows. There we are. All identical with the settings, with the indicators, with the color arrangements, all through the template option. Now it's a, you can have as many different templates as you like. 
You can have them for individual indicators, for example. You might want to create one for the currency strength indicator. Uh, or you can have them with various arrangements of indicators, both proprietary and also the free indicators that come with the platform. There's no limitation and it will also save the settings that you ascribe to the indicators as well. And if you want to remove a template or delete a template from your system, all you do is go into uh, the template section again, remove a template, and there we are. You can remove one of these. If we remove demo one, it does ask you if, you're, if you want to confirm that as an option, and you can say, yes, I want to delete that as an option. There we go. And you've now removed that template from your directory. You can pretty much give them any name you like so that you can remember what they are. It's just a great, great way of populating charts very, very quickly indeed. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Thanks very much indeed for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video and bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.